Cryptocurrency Wallet Have you ever wondered how digital assets like Ethereum and NFTs are managed and stored? Well, this is where crypto wallets come into play. A crypto wallet is a digital storage solution that helps with storing the private and public keys and also helps signing transactions. A crypto wallet is essentially a piece of software that has the capability of generating a private key and storing it securely. It will then use this private key to produce a public key. You then get the public address of your account by taking the last 20 bytes of the hashed public key and adding a 0x in the beginning. The public address of your account can be freely shared amongst peers to send and receive Ethereum. Whereas the private key on the other hand should never be shown to anyone other than yourself. You should keep it in a secure place and usually a wallet has a secure mechanism of storing it behind a password. It is a good idea to not leave it only up to the wallet to store your private key, but instead to also make a copy of that and store it in a secure place. The reason is wallets use the private key to sign transactions sent to the blockchain for the blockchain to validate that this is the actual user and perform whatever task it needs to, whether it's transferring cryptocurrencies or interacting with contracts. So you see, if you don't have your private key, you will not be able to sign transactions, sending funds around and interacting with the blockchain, especially on that account. That means that the cryptocurrency in that account is no longer accessible by you. The same goes for if someone else got a hold of your private key, they'll be able to act like you and just make transactions on that account because they have the ability to sign transactions. So, a private key is extremely important, so never share it with anyone else and keep it in a safe place. There are many crypto wallets out there, like my Ether wallet, Metamask, or Ledger, but they all are based on the same technology. That's why, if you have access to your private key of your account, you can always use a different wallet. For example, you can have your My Ether wallet and you have the private key. If you want to open your MetaMask wallet and just simply import it, you can do so by just putting in your private key into the MetaMask wallet. MetaMask will then take your private key and generate a public key. And this public key will be exactly the same one that was on your My Ether wallet because you use the same private key. Now, as you can see, this means that your wallet is essentially living on MetaMask and MyEther. But the funds don't live on one of these products. The funds are associated with the public and private keys and not the brand of wallet that you have chosen. Most wallets will also generate a seed phrase when you create a new wallet. A seed phrase consists of 12 or sometimes 24 words in a particular order. The seed phrase is just as important as your private key and should be kept securely. Make a copy of it and keep it safe away from the public's eyes. Because with a seed phrase, you can also restore a wallet. And a seed phrase can be used to generate that private key. I know that this sounds like a lot to keep your key secure. But keep in mind, this is a way where you can take control of your own finance. Furthermore, wallets can actually be categorized in two main categories, hot wallets and cold wallets. Wallets can be classified as hot wallets if they have an online kind of connection. Maybe they're communicating with some sort of server, whereas cold wallets are completely offline. These can be typically hardware wallets such as a Ledger Nano S or a paper wallet. You can decide what type of wallet you want to use. Generally, if you do a lot of transactions with the blockchain, then use a hot wallet. And for longer holdings of crypto, use a cold wallet. Okay, so I hope you understand that a wallet is a piece of software that can generate and store a private key that is used to generate a public key. We get the public address from the public key, which we can share freely to our peers. The set of cryptographic keys is known as an account, and the wallet manages this account.